As the former chairman of the Veterans Committee, I can tell you that people do not fully understand the cost of war. I mean, it's not just that we lost 6,700 brave men and women in Iraq and Afghanistan, it's the 500,000 that came back with PTSD and traumatic brain injury. Uh, I think what President Obama is trying to do is to do everything that he can to make sure that Iran does not get a nuclear weapon, but do it without another war. I am astounded, I really am, to hear my Republican colleagues go on the floor of the Senate and kind of blithely talk about, you know, well, there's another option. What they're talking about is another war. We were at war in Afghanistan, didn't turn out well. War in Iraq did not turn out well. We do not need another war. Now, so, I'm sorry, is this a choice between diplomacy and war? I think it is. Look, if it fails, who trusts Iran? I don't trust Iran. Nobody trusts Iran. But there are very tight uh, restrictions here uh, in terms of not only releasing, uh, lowering the sanctions, um, but also uh, the ability to bring them back. So I think you give peace a chance. War is always an option, but in my view, a great nation has got to use every capability uh, that it has to prevent war. War is a terrible thing, uh, and I would like to see us succeed here as the president is trying to do without going to war.